All right, moving on to session five, we have speaker from Myanmar, who, who whose name is Shuesin. And we have five evaluators. I have never seen those evaluators, passionate evaluators, and, and, and since the beginning of this club meeting. And those five evaluators is following. Uh, one, Bichu, two, Aziza, three, Stella, four, MK, five, Yusuf. We have five speakers and we are going to enjoy first uh, Shresin's uh, speech, then uh, followed by the evaluations. Now, I'd like to introduce the speaker from Myanmar. Shresin is working on Effective Coach Pathway Level 1 Evaluation and Feedback for Speech. And her speech title is Try Everything. And the time is five to seven minutes. And evaluators, again, uh, five evaluators. One, Bichu, two, Aziza, three, Stella, four, MK, five, Yusuf. We have five evaluators. Now let us listen to the uh, speech. Shresin, try everything. Try everything. Shresin. No, I won't leave. I wanna try everything. I wanna try even though I could fail. Do you fellow Toastmasters and guests? How many times have you failed in your life? How many times have you got up again in your life? Did you try everything to fly higher in your life? The bats don't just fly, they fall down and they got up again and again. So now I would like to share you my stories. I am Shrezing. I have come to this place, this situation, this role by trying everything as much as I can. Let's rewind a bit. I am 16. I'm a beautiful, dedicated, and ever smiling teenage teenager. After I finish my high school, I am ready to go to my university. But the dissidents of our society are usually out of university after high school. They think that all this education will end up in the kitchen one day. It is just a waste of time. One of the most heartbreaking words that I heard from my dad was, instead of educating daughters, we should have bought cousin houses with that money. Can you imagine how someone feels after hearing those words? Of course, it shattered my soul. Believe me, although we are living in the 21st century, there are so many girls, they just end up their lives in the kitchen. They don't educate the girls. However, I manage, at least I have to attend the distant universe, distant university, and I could manage it by struggling with my family. And then fast forward to 18. Now I'm 18. You know, I found a special one in my life. Before I am one month into my relationship, how much I mastered lying. Everybody knows at home, they all know about it. And starting from that day, they see me like I am a bad girl. And also, they always talk the bad words, over controlling, and also bad mouth. And he is also like, I have to face with two families, their family and my family. They don't like educated women. They are like, Shrezin, don't talk back. Don't go there. Don't talk to me. Don't just, something like that. There's so many don't, don't. 
I was so annoyed with these words. And also, at the same time, they are demotivating my university. In my second year, I all, almost happened that to get out of my university. But after all the struggles and challenges, I could finish my final exam in the university. And then after, as soon as I finished my uh, final year, they just pop up at home for the engagement. So actually, it is really a toxic relationship. I know that, but I couldn't step out of this toxic relationship. I cannot say no to other people. So it just move on. And then it just only six days left to celebrate my wedding. But I cannot move on anymore. There are lots of controls, over controlling and bad words, struggles, and there are so many things. And I I was I'm literally suffocating with all of these things and I couldn't move forward. So one day I just make up my mind and I talk to my parents and I'm back. Please cancel this. I cannot go there. I know that it's totally different with my type and I cannot do it. So, you know, all only six days left and I just destroy everything. And I knew that this is the most righteous decisiveness that I have ever made in my life. Fast forward to 21, all these things finish and ended. And then 2019 was one of the most life-changing years for me. I started to get outside of my home and they, my family trust me and they let me go outside. And then I reached to American Santa Django. And I see there, there are so many youths who have full of hopes, dreams, goals, and there are so many opportunities. And I was enlightened with these youths. And then I had a very strong intention in my heart that I want to be a part of this community. So I joined this speaking club, or oh, I couldn't speak in English, but I joined every day, every, uh, once in a week, every Saturday I joined and for three months, I didn't speak at all. And I was like, oh my God, they're so inspiring. And then after three months, I applied for the volunteer. And luckily I was chosen. I became a six months volunteer. And then another step, I became an officer, program officer for six months. And then I became the president of the club. And now here in Toastmaster, I see everything abreasting with the international level. And apart from that, I am also a young learner English teacher at an international school. So dear fellow Toastmasters, how many times have you failed in your life? How many times have you got up again in your life? And try everything as much as you can to fly higher and higher. See your potential and then give the best to the world. All the struggles you make and all the things you try are not meaningless. They are so precious. And then you will become a person who you are today, what you are standing now. You are the best. So try everything. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Susan. <clears throat> yes, I'm trying everything, and and I I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just follow my passion and do whatever I want to do, and I hope that is not against uh, others' will and others' safety. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, thank you, every uh, thank you, Susan. Now I'd like to create a breakout room for the uh, evaluators. <clears throat> now, Bichu is first evaluator and she will stay. And the rest of the evaluators, uh, Aziza. Hey, Gigi, will you allow me 
for five minutes preparation. Okay. No, you go straight. First speaker, huh? first one, huh? evaluator. Oh, okay, then uh, who'd like to go first? Evaluators. Uh, I can be first. Okay, Z stays. Oh, say again. Yusuf. And... Uh, uh, I, I didn't understand what you say, Yusuf. Uh, well, actually, I would like to go first, but G has said she wants it first. Okay, uh, G and Yusuf, uh, which one? Uh, who, who do you like to go first? G, Yusuf. Up to Opa Yusuf. All oh, ladies first. Okay, thank you, Opa Yusuf. <laughs> okay, then let's say. Uh, one is you, uh, Aziza, two, Yusuf, mm. three, Bichu, four, Stella, five, MK. Okay. And then let's go. And let's say, okay, Yusuf, little JJ, MK, Stella is moving. Uh, yeah, let's go to the uh, something so, something strange. Uh, okay, again. Okay, nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah, let's go to the breakout room. Yeah, it goes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Pichu, uh, go to the main uh, breakout room. Yeah. Yeah, let's go okay. to breakout room. Yeah, yes. Oh, go to breakout room. Yeah. But I don't, I don't see, I don't okay. see any notifications. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Please okay. Click the link. Okay. Yusuf. Okay, Yusuf is uh, something wrong. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Okay, I see Aziza here and I see the rest of the evaluators. So uh, stay your camera on and uh, unmute yourself and stay there while I'm come back to pick you up. <laughs> Hold on. Now, Aziza, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, okay, I'm, I see you and I hear you. Do you see the timer? Of course. I can't see the timer. <laughs> you cannot? Really? I, I, I think I, I say it. I, I can I can see the timer. Uh, I can't see the timer. It means that I cannot see the timer. So I, I say I can I see the timer. Make fun out of anything. <laughs> see. Then, when, when, you, when you see I can't, I can't, you look cute. I am cute. Yeah. Okay, now <clears throat> let's let's hear. Uh, feedback from the audience members. So Aziza is the first one. Now Aziza will evaluate Shueshin's speech. Over to you, Z. Thank you. Try everything, try everything. Oh my God, I really love the opening of your speech. You knew, you knew it right, that I love a song and you really take and hook me up for the attention. So Swiss scene, this is your first speech regarding your project for effective coaching, evaluation feedback, first speech. I really love the way you presented this speech. The first one you open with the music and also with your song, with your own voice song. And then you manage to share boom, 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 a lot of the time 
of your life journey when you were when you are struggling and you have a toxic relationship and also you share about the awakening moment that make you i need to stop all of this and you made it and you go to the next level of which the international level so i would like to congratulate you you are growing even more just like the stars but not try really so hard because you are need more a lot of things to learn and you will grow even more and the other part that i really love your speech is it's such a fantastic energetic well-managed speech from the opening body and also the conclusion you share what is the message from your oral personal experience they're also another point of your speech and I really so much engaged when you mentioned that try everything, try harder and try to engage with the audience, with your message. You persuade the audience to take it a chance while it still can. And the other thing that I would like to suggest you to improve, I think oh, when you perform and you put your bag on, it seems that you are uh, way too close to the camera. Maybe you can back forward and we can see more of your the upper body. And uh, maybe you can uh, you can use the bag, not just the bag, you can use the glasses one, right? So people said, ah, even though that you're not going to the beach, of course, with the with the sunglasses, it will add in more props. So maybe you can have a specific costume that you could uh, add in more of your preparations. And the other thing that I would like to suggest you, you share your personal experience and you've mentioned, I think you put a lot of work with so and so you probably could add in, for instance, in 2018, I was so much devastated with the talks relationship. And then you go on, continue, but but it happened but it happened to change the awakening moment. So you're not using the end and so over and over again. And the other part that I would like to suggest you on is, I like your smile. So maybe you can smile more even brighter and your eye contact as well. I don't know, I really love your, um, your message, your energetic, well-managed uh, speech and how you perform with all the props and time uh, on your life journey things and you're closing with a strong message and overall it's really a strong message of the woman empowerment so thank you Swastin. i'm over time back to open day there thank you and i'm going to pause the recording thank for a while. now second evaluator is yusuf hello yusuf Hi. Yeah, I can see you and hear you. Do you see the timer? Yes, I can see it. Okay. So uh, Yusuf is going to evaluate Shuesin's speech. Over to you, Yusuf. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Shuesin. I like your try everything. It's a very good structured speech, starting from the opening body and conclusion. I'm not going to talk about your uh, content, but I'm going to try to give you input about delivery. I like your good vocal. It's very clear, very strong, and I can understand easily because you have got very good pronunciation. Second thing I like from your delivery is your hand gestures. You make use of your hand gestures in such a great way. I, I Not too much and not too less. That's really good. Now let's talk about something to be true. One, if you could use the space when you are talking, let me give you an example. You were talking about when you were 17. If you could move backward, this is when you are 17. And then you move upward. Now, 
I'm 18 years old. That would make a difference. So we know that it's a different uh, period of time. That's number one. Number two, I see that you have got, I said, a good vocal, but if you could use some poses, oh, sorry. If you could use some poses, it will be more meaningful. Like when you said, Now, let me share you my story. So there is a pause in every segment. So we know that you are going to share with us your story. Um, and also, there is a pause from one paragraph to the second paragraph or from one idea to the second idea. In this case, you don't use any pose at all. You just go straight. So it doesn't leave us the time to digest what you said in the beginning or later on. So thank you very much. It's a good speech. I like your speech. Back to you, JJ. Thank you, Yusuf. Now, uh, I, I just saw the chat that MK like to go third evaluator. So any objection? <laughs> no, then third, uh, first was Aziza, second was Yusuf, third is MK, then fourth, B2, fifth, yeah, Stella. Now, MK is going to evaluate Shresin's speech. And over to you, MK. I can, I can see the timer. I can see this session. Thank you. And first of all, I, it was very uh, impactful, uh, starting by the beautiful song session. And I found the very uh, structural, uh, very very clear structure, the head, body, and the conclusion. And I can see clearly what you say, try everything. And I'd like to talk about the improvement. Mm, the first of all, uh, uh, you, you, you wanna show your action, but uh, I couldn't see your hand uh, properly. Uh, so you, you need to control the, your camera the backside. And then uh, your action, when you say about the rewind to 16, it is a little bit uh, uh, quick, quicker than you want to show. So a bit, uh, you, I, I think you need to uh, act a little bit uh, slower. And then the, what's that, the, when you say the conclusion, try everything, and then you move too quickly to uh, Mr. President, JJ, to move back to JJ. I, I think you'd better uh, pause a little, uh, a little longer. Uh, that's all for my uh, feedback. Thank you. Okay, good job, MK. Uh, and your your evaluation speech is getting better and better. <laughs> I see your improvement. Now, yeah, thank you on, very much. Yeah, moving on to next evaluator, who is Bichu. Bichu, hello. Yes. I see you, hear you. Do you see the timer? Yeah, I can see you. I can hear you. Now I can start. I hope okay. my voice Bichu is evaluating Shresin's speech. Over to you, Bichu. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Congrats to Sui Sing for completing your projects. Try everything. Sui Sing, uh, there are three aspects that for your personal narrative of your personal story today that really impressed me. How you cherish your life with positive way, way 
you had had some bad or hard time when you grow older. Now you are still very young. And how the bad experience incidents and make you go for a better guy because because of these difficult times and challenging that made you how to uh, how to generate and how to monitor your life and overcome it and make you become better and better and the most I like for your speeches, you are excellent at well organized your speech. You started with your um, beautiful, beautiful voice singing that that made you send a message that you really cherish your life. And secondly, your frustrations, failures because of those unfortunate treatment that made you realize something you have to fight for it and finally because of those challenges you overcome it and you make your life successfully and you good at using your vocal variety like singing express your uh, child, child, uh, child your 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 passionate and you use your body gesture to make your speech more vibrance and that can be one of the future's reference what you should work on is maybe you can post with some uh, some uh, uh, stra strategy like conjunctions use some conjunctions for example firstly secondly or thirdly or maybe more and more over that can make your speech more in sequence. What I would like to challenge you is use the tone vocal variety to express it because you are seasoned speaker. Seasoned speaker that makes you more mature. Therefore, you can use it for your second speech and strengthens your your and strengthens uh, your uh, personal speaking skill and enhance it in your next speech on and on. I enjoy your speech and hopefully all this can be improved and strengthened for your next speech. Back to you, JJ. Thank you, Vichu. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Vichu, you look younger day by day. <laughs> Now moving on to uh, who's that? Last but not least, uh, fifth evaluator, who is Stella. Stella, hello. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, and I believe you see the timer. And Stella is going to evaluate Shishin's speech. Over to you, Stella. Shishen, when I heard your project, like evaluation and feedback, I thought first the thing came to my mind was that smart girl, you use this evaluation festival to collect your feedback, right? Because this project is supposed to you, you are supposed to get the feedback like as many as possible or then to, to use that feedback for your future reference. You take advantage of your chance, this festival for your project, smart move, and I love that. And you already got like a 50% of our, uh, my like, like remark at the beginning already. And then I love your opening. You know, this is, that is cheating. Singing in the beginning of your speech, that's a cheating. That's like a master key. Like you can immediately make the audience in, engaged in your speech, but you use that tool. If it, this is allowed, if this is a contest because you're really eager to win something, but this is a club meeting and it's, aha, uh -huh, you use that cheating, but very effective. I love this part. And then I think you're good at singing too. And of course your gesture, facial expressions, vocal variety, what can I say more about your like delivery skills, wonderful. 
even though at the moment I'm giving you my feedback, I'm not a good speaker as you are, you know? And then I love the details. You stepped away to show your back to use widen the camera angle so that we can see the, the back. I love the details. I can tell you practice a lot. And then I love that message, especially because you talked about, shared about a touching story about an independent a woman living in a stubborn environment like you and you share your obstacles in a controlling society. You know, even though the Korea have different experience, like the Korean girls are pushed to study harder. And then later that after university, we are also stuck in the kitchen. We spend most of our life later after university, even though we are highly educated, we, we you know, do the dishes all day long. So we can relate to, I can relate to your uh, message. You know, I think you're already a strong woman and being a totally independent in, in age of 20s. I think it's even difficult in a, even in a freer country like Europe or United States. This is so difficult. And you did that job and you made it possible. You, I think you have a successful life already. You are a very strong woman. And I like to... Um, I was so, I felt so proud as a fellow Toastmaster because you said you're experiencing freedom and challenge in Toastmaster too. I love that part. And all of a sudden you said, you are not meaningless. It was like a strike direct personal message to me because at the moment during pandemic, I make less money than my husband. My husband makes good money. I felt about to feel like, oh, I'm useless. I'm meaningless. And you directly to set, to help told me, you're not meaningless, Stella. You can do better. You can show to the world your best. Yeah, and thank you so much for the direct and personal message. I think a lot of people get um, energy and help from your message. I love that you did a good job and I have to say sorry because the, for this project, I was supposed to give you a productive suggestion, but I cannot find any, you know, any weak points from your speech. Sorry. Thank you. Back to JJ. Uh, thank you, Stella. And I'm, I'm, yeah, even though I'm working and make money and I'm blowing all the money to my wife and daughter, I do the washes. <laughs> And I make uh, and I prepare some uh, food for them. Now, timer report I see. Yeah, I'm launching the polling for the best uh, uh, evaluators for this session. Launching polling Z. Uh, one vote for you, even though you are uh, overqualified for the time management. Yeah, <laughs> and nobody, nobody know, uh, but uh, Shwetsin and me, <laughs> and also Anna. Yes. Oh, but they are know my name, so it's okay. I put someone else. Uh, I'm sorry, I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Uh, now I'm so happy. Now, like I, in this afternoon, I will be presenting this speech in a District AP uh, Division contest as a oh. test speaker. There will be eight evaluators now. Five evaluators. I am very uh, happy that like first like oh my God, there are lots of evaluators. What should I do? And now uh, it's very um, great feeling for me. So yeah, got right. lots of motivation. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. So good job as a test speaker in district. Uh, hold on. I'm working on. Uh, copying the wizard and something is not working properly. Okay, gotcha. Now I got the wizard and uh, but last voting for the best speaker. Now, uh, as you remember, first speaker was Aziza, second Brahma Kumar, third Bichu, and fourth, Yusuf, and last but not least, uh, fifth, uh, Shwesin. So remember that the uh, speakers and click on it. Uh, see, click on your name. <laughs> And I don't see anyone. Okay, uh, uh, 
Yeah. And I don't see anyone click on Brahmakumar. So I'm going to remove from co-host and click on Brahmakumar because uh, <laughs> this is just a political reason. <laughs> political. Yeah. Are we playing the politics these days? Uh, sometimes for the appraisal. <laughs> uh we we can we can we can talk about politics sex and religion but uh giving uh, uh, uh giving some uh, uh you know uh improvement and appraisal appraisal is kind of uh, encouragement so i got the result okay now i'm going to work on uh certificates so before moving on, uh, see, can you take one minute for the guest comment? Alasta. One minute, please. Okay, one minute. I can give you time. Minutes. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm back again. So right now I will be asking your opinion about our meeting today. Not about the speaker, not about me, not about Upper JJ, but about our meeting today. So how do you feel? I would like first ask to Stella Young. Please tell us uh, your opinion. I probably can tell us about a little bit about yourself. So yeah, we can we uh, we tend to know you more. Yeah, I'm from Awesome Leaders Toastmasters, the Tuesday evening club. So you have time opening Tuesday evening, join my club. I usually have class on Zoom Saturday morning, so I couldn't join this club regularly. But today, this week was the exception because it's a holiday weekend. So I'm so happy to be here and I had fun. I think, uh, like I know I've been there like like the evaluation festival, but they usually have the two types of speakers, but five sessions. <laughs> we tried, but that's why 